Rogers Hornsby, one of baseball's all-time great batting champions and new manager of the St. Louis Browns, talks with Gil McDougall. The Philadelphia Athletics manager, Jimmy Dykes, chats with Yankee coach Bill Dickey. On the mound, it'll be Yankee Ed Lopat again opposing Larry Jansen for the second time in the series. In the Giants' half of the first inning, Alvin Dark larps a single into left. It's Dark's eighth hit of the series. Then Monty Irvin steps up to bat and hammers out his tenth hit of the series. When Woodling fumbles it, Dark scores all the way from first. And once more, the Giants are off to a fast start. They still lead one to nothing in the top of the third. After one out, Jansen walks both Woodling and Rizzuto. Berra slashes one to Lockman. It forces Rizzuto at second. Woodling takes third in the play. Then Joe DiMaggio singles to short left scoring Woodling. Irvin kicks the ball around. Terra goes to third and DiMaggio to second on the error. With first base open, the big Yankee veteran Johnny Mize is purposely passed to get at rookie Gil McDougal. The bases are loaded. Two men are out. McDougal rises to the challenge. And there it goes. A mighty four-run blast into the upper left field stand. This crushing blow is only the third Grand Slam home run in all of World Series history. McDougal is the first rookie ever to do it. Now the Giants are on the short end of a five-to-one score. In the bottom of the Giants' third, Alvin Dark bangs out his fifth hit in his last six times at bat and his ninth of the series, but he's left on base. Now it's the Yankee fourth. Marty Kennedy has replaced Jansen on the mound for the Giants. Woodling's on base with a walk. Scooter Rizzuto is up. He punches a drive that barely clears the wall just inside the right field line. It's a two-run homer for Phil as the Yankees surge ahead seven to one. The Yankees made it nine to one on the top of the sixth. In the last half of the sixth, the Giants star Monty Irvin singles for his 11th hit of the series. He needs only one more to tie the all-time series record. The Yanks collect four more runs in the seventh and go into the ninth with an overwhelming lead of 13 to one. Now it's the last half of the ninth. After one out, Irvin hammers a mighty drive into left center where Woodling robs Monty of his powerful bid for that record-tying 12th hit. Then Whitey Lockman wraps a high hopper to Rizzuto for the final out. And the Yankees have routed the Giants 13 to 1. It's a splendid victory for pitcher Eddie Lopat. His second five-hit triumph gives the Yankees a 3 to 2 edge in the series. 